Hey, this is Jazz with Swift Math Solutions. Do you struggle with math? Do you spend more time than you should working on the same math problems and then only to take the test and you still didn't pass the exam? Well, this is where I come in. My goal is to empower students with how to solve those math problems within seconds. Here's today's math tip. This is a multiplication rule for 11. This is a strategy for multiplying any double digit number by the number 11. Here are the rules. First, you separate the two digits that are being multiplied by 11. Next, you're going to add the two separated digits together. Then, you're going to put the total of the two separated digits in between the number you separated in step 1. And finally, if the combined digits total in step 2 is greater than 9, you're just going to carry the number to the hundreds column and add it to your total. We'll do some examples. Example 1. We have 34 times 11. We're going to separate the 3 and the 4. We'll move the digit 3 over to the left, the 4 off to the right. Now let's add the totals of 3 plus 4 equals 7. Now just place the 7 in between your 3 and the 4. Final answer, 374. Example 2. We have 62 times 11. Let's separate the 6 and the 2. Now let's combine the total of 6 plus 2, which is equal to 8. Now just place the 8 in between the 6 and the 2. Final answer, 682. Example 3. We have 85 times 11. We're going to separate the 8 and the 5. We have 8 plus 5, which is equal to 13. We're going to place the 3 in between the 8 and the 5. We're going to carry that 1 over to the hundreds column. So we have 8 plus that 1, which is equal to 9. Final answer, 935. Let's go over that one again. We had 85 times 11. We're going to separate the 8 and the 5. Now we're going to add the 8 plus the 5 equals 13. We're going to place that 3 in the middle of 8 and 5. We're going to have to carry that 1 to the hundreds column. So we have 8 plus that 1, which is equal to 9. Our final answer, 935. And here's our final example. We have 97 times 11. We're going to separate the 9 and the 7. We're going to add 9 plus 7 equals 16. We're going to place that 6 in between the 9 and the 7. We have to carry that 1 over to the hundreds column. We have 9 plus 1, which is equal to 10. Our final answer is 1067. Let's repeat that one again. We had 97 times 11. We're going to separate the 9 and the 7. We're going to add 9 plus 7 equals 16. We're going to place the 6 in between the 9 and the 7. We're going to carry that 1 to the hundreds column. We're going to add the 9 plus the 1, which is equal to 10. Our final answer is 1067. For more math and parent tips, join Jazzy at Swift Math Solutions at Radiomini.com Radio. We're streaming 24-7 with quick math tips and shortcuts. We also have Disney music and Disney movie theme music. You can also follow us at YouTube channel at Swift Math Solutions TV. Also, you can follow me on Facebook at Swift Math Solutions and also at Twitter at Swift Math Solutions. Remember, you can get empowered. We make math fun, not intimidating. This is Jazz signing off. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.